Hey, everyone, you doing right? <laughs> so let's kick this off by a question. Uh, it's specifically for TGS students and alumni. How many of you guys have struggled with filling in stipend sheets? <laughs> so this is almost all of our students, but how is that relevant to the number four? It takes an average of four hours for average fast type of TGS student to fill out stipend sheets every term. Now, you may ask, what are stipend sheets? This is a stipend sheet. Now, for every meal that we have, we have to record the date, where we bought our meal, what the meal was, how much it costs, and most importantly, a receipt linked to Google Drive for proof of purchase. And so, we have had enough of this. We decided... <laughs> We have decided to come up with a project with a driving question, how can we design an app that automates uh, expense-related tasks for students at Think Global School? I'm Abdurrahman, also known as Bidu. I'm from Cairo, Egypt, and I'm a student at grade 11 here at Think Global School. I'm very, very passionate about technology. I'm also the founder of Think Wallet, and uh, I'm responsible for all initial investigations and research, as well as back-end alongside with Seb Olson. My name is Dhruv, and I'm responsible for the user experience and user design of this app, along with Seb, a massive contributor to the project, who is a full-stack developer. And you can also visit, visit us at the booth upstairs to ask him more questions about the journey. And so as the one responsible for all the initial investigations, we also needed to learn about what could we do in order to approach a creation of such an app. So we, we, on, in TGS, we all use iPhones. So the approach is going to be Xcode, which is the app development software created by Apple developer, but also the appropriate programming language with Swift UI. Using that specifically is not enough because we also needed to learn how applications communicate with each other or how computers talk to each other. So we also needed to learn about Google Cloud specifically to make students be able to log in into the app but also Firebase. Firebase is used for so many things. We specifically use it to give your device a unique ID. It's like your fingerprint, except it's for, for, for your iPhone. So the unique ID, when integrated with the Google sign-in, it recognizes your phone, and unlike Think status, you will not have to sign in each and every single time you will use the app. Also, we, we, we learned about GitHub. So GitHub is just basically, if we are not together in the same place, uh, we can work still virtually where the code is, all, uh, is almost always online. Um, and it also allows us to walk around and play with, with branches. So programming in general, it's mostly about uh, coding, but also prototyping, but also uh, like working with the errors that we come up with. It's 90% of the time we are troubleshooting and working with the errors. So GitHub helps us with that because it creates branches where each and every single iteration we have is still on the, on the page and we can just rewind and get to that iteration as well. But also, uh, furthermore, we needed to learn about machine learning because text detection is not enough. We need machine learning specifically to enable to recognize where the restaurant name is, where the price is, where the date is. Uh, so we can create our own machine learning models, but we can also use pre-existing ones that people have created. But that also comes to the ethics and legalities of computer. To what extent are we allowed to use other people's work and how can we appropriately cite them? Now, having investigated all that, we are now in a position to create our own app. Therefore, introducing ThinkWallet, the native Think Global School app designed to help students automate their expense-related tasks. Now, you might ask, how will they do this? It's a basic five-step process. Firstly, a Google sign-in to help identify students. And also, an access to the iPhone camera to scan receipts and record them. User verification to make sure all the information is correct and also allows to manually step in information as well. It could also categorize data from, from text. So I can use multiple naming conventions to store the data as well. And lastly, most importantly, a link to Google Drive so the finance office can thank us. And so we have had different iterations. Um, so for instance, this iteration we had was just at the very beginning, before receiving feedback. Uh, we would just take a picture of, your, of the receipts right, normally, just like you do from your camera app, and then you upload the photo on the application. The app will then analyze the text using machine learning. It will recognize where the restaurant name, the price, and date is, and categorize it into Google Drive a spreadsheet uh, uh, after that, that is readable by, obviously, humans being. It's, it's, it's not only on the back end. Um, but also, uh, after receiving feedback, we decided to create something that is more sophisticated than that. And so, 
Now, as Vito said, after getting feedback from the community, the community said that they want to have the ability to scan receipts directly from the app. So that's what we tried. So you take a picture of the receipt, it scans the text, you can save the text, and the computer will know what, what text to save, and you can use multiple naming conventions to save this text and store it into multiple databases. Now, we need your help. <laughs> because this app is still in development, we need your help in, in terms of we need excessive adaptability and flexibility to move on to tradi from traditional stipend sheets onto this app. And we need your support and feedback to make this the most efficient and uh, effective app in the community. And so you can find us on LinkedIn, scanning those QR codes. It will be here for a minute. Um, also, we have a booth where Sab Olson will be there. You can talk to him personally about his experience about in the back-end development. Uh, the booth will be right in the room right in front of this uh, after on stage. Just go straight. The, the room will be there. We are the third table on the right. Uh, and you can, you, uh, you can test. Uh, think wallet and also a fun fact when you test it you help us because it's a beta version and it's using machine learning so each and every single time you test it obviously it has errors as of now but each and every single time it gets more and more accurate and more and more precise thank you and thank you i hope you enjoy it yeah.